I believe the tuition waiver will help graduate students uh, by providing that waiver so that at least those who are doing their graduate school or doing their uh, research assistant will be able to afford tuition with the waiver. Uh, especially, not everyone is going to be able to. So if the waiver is given, now this student had a confidence that, you know what, I'm going to go to school now without paying for school. Yes, I'll still pay the fees that comes with the courses, that comes with the program, but that waiver, at least I don't have to come up with that amount, whatever it is, twenty, fifteen, or $30,000. So I think it will go a long way to help the students without paying for it. But if that waiver is now being taxed, now that's a different uh, situation because it's not earned income. So that waiver would definitely help the, help the students. I hope it wouldn't. It may. Again, personal situation would determine that. But looking at it overall, I just hope it wouldn't. And I hope the Congress listens to everyone and take that situation. Uh, it, it, they, they don't have to take each person's situation into account. We're talking about millions of people. But if, just, if they can just think about the impact that it will have on education, if they believe these are the futures of America, the sh futures of the future of this country, then they should you know, think about it and make education access harder for people to get into and make education harder for people to attain. I have no doubt if this goes through, universities will raise fees, will raise tuitions. And who hurts? The students again. The students are going to get hurt. They're already hurting because states are no longer providing as much revenue or as much budget for education. Tuition is going up every year or every semester, depending on the school. And if this goes through, it's just going to hurt a lot of students. It's going to hurt a lot of schools as well. Now, how will school recoup all the revenue from raising fees and tuition? And it's going to hurt students. If it hurts students, it's going to hurt parents. So there's going to be a domino effect. And that's going to hurt the economy. I don't think the Congress is looking at it from that perspective yet. I believe they are very uh, parochial in their view, but they are not looking at it down the road. How, what will be the effect of this? Maybe 10, 15, or 20 years from now. But it's going to hurt. And again, there will also be some people that will say, you know, I'll still go for it, even though it hurts me. Uh, there are a lot of people who are paying their, uh, their school loan for the life of their working, their, their working life. And all those are going to be ramifications for each individual to, you know, to take a look at. So it's really going to be a domino effect from the beginning or to the end. And university will definitely raise fees, and students will be the ones to pay for it at the end.